Good evening. My name is Ms. Masseri, and I'd like to welcome our Academy of Finance students, parents, teachers, administrators, Board of Education members, and Academy of Finance Advisory Board members to the annual Fort Lee High School Academy of Finance Senior Recognition Ceremony, honoring the class of 2021. I'd like to ask everyone to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tonight, we recognize our 24 Academy of Finance seniors. This is our fourth group of AOF students who became eligible for NAF track certification. NAF track certification is achieved through an online system created by business and education leaders. Our students have to pass four end of course assessments, complete culminating projects, and earn a satisfactory rating in, a, in an internship. This class is also very special as it was instrumental in helping us earn our NAF Distinguished Academy status, which is the highest level achievement given by NAF. I am grateful for all of your work and proud that you were part of this process. The AOF is not only about what students learn in the classroom, but the connections made in the real world. I wish all of my students the best of luck as they continue on their journey. Good evening, AOF seniors, soon to be graduates, parents of seniors and family and friends. The culmination of four years at Fort Lee High School is near. In September 2017, I welcomed you all to the AOF program. Yours is the last class I've taught during freshman and sophomore years. So I have the pleasure of knowing all of you. I've seen you grow, I've seen you acquire skills and knowledge, and I've seen what you've learned and been able to do. You know, I'm always pleased, especially uh, by the end of sophomore year, with the progress that you all make in your presentation skills. Just putting the presentation together, using the, the slides, and then actually standing up in front of your class and making the presentation. And those skills that you've learned over the four years have been shown in all the presentations that you do, not just in class, but outside of the school. I've seen you grow. I've seen you change over the last four years. You know, I saw Yanni uh, a couple of weeks ago in the hallway and he gave me his shy nod with his mask on and I nodded back but I wasn't really sure who it was and after he rounded the corner you know I said to myself is that Yanni so I saw him later another day and talked to him a little bit boy he's grown over six feet I think six two even Jaywoo's changed you know Jaywoo parts his hair in the middle now um, I'm gonna stick with the no part look so these last 15 months have been difficult, I think, for all of us. And I'm sure it's not, you know, how you envisioned your senior year. You know, and I've missed seeing you, talking to you in the hallways, talking to you at AOF events. Um, this virtual interaction, you know, it's been necessary, but, you know, it, it's certainly not as good as personal interaction. And I hope for you and for us that in the fall, where school returns to, to the normal schedule. Anyway, I want to have some wishes for you that I want to make. I wish you um, continued learning and growth as both a student and a person. I hope you continue to develop your own sense of self and successfully bridge um, to independence as you finish school and start working. And finally, the last thing I'd like you to do is to learn the better pronunciation of finance. Anyway, I wish you all, you and your families, good, good luck, good health, prosperity. And uh, I hope to see you sometime in the near future. Good night and God bless. Finance. 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 Good evening, everyone. Chris Delafov here, one of the AOF teachers here at the high school. 
welcoming everyone to the AOF Senior Awards Recognition Ceremony. Um, first of all, I just want to say I'm very proud of all of you guys. Um, I remember just a couple years ago, um, that freshman class with all you guys, and I knew I was going to have my hands full. But by the end of the year, I think that we all learned some things and we had a good time in the process. Um, so I'm not going to take up a long time. Um, I just want to leave you guys with a couple things. One, congratulations. These past few years have not been easy. You guys know that. We all know that. So congratulations on that. Two, you'll always have a home here. Whenever something's going on, you need help with anything, please feel free to come back speak to myself or any of your other AOF teachers. And three, visit. Come back and visit and let us all know how you should have paid a little bit more attention in your business classes and how Mr. Delafab, Ms. Masseri, and Mr. Garris were right. Just keep that in mind. All right, um, congratulations again, guys. Seriously, very proud of you. And without further ado, um, I'm gonna introduce our next speaker, our superintendent, Mr. Rhoda. Good evening. Tonight, it's my honor to congratulate the Academy of Finance class of 2021. On behalf of the Board of Education, the administration, and the faculty and staff, I offer our congratulations for your successes and achievements in the program. All of you have persevered and achieved the goals set forth by the AOF program. You've accomplished something that only a special group of, of young people can do. I'm very proud of what you've done. I am confident that as you graduate from Fort Lee High School and move forward into the future, you'll be able to successfully address all the challenges and opportunities that you will face. Good luck in the future. I anxiously await your accomplishments. I'm sure you'll make Fort Lee proud. We are so fortunate to have the support of our Academy of Finance Advisory Board members. Through their volunteer efforts, the members provide an essential bridge between the classroom and the workplace. They play an active role in developing our future workforce by shaping talent in high school. The advisory board members collaborate with the students and act as their members. They assist us in our fundraising efforts. We are thankful for all of their efforts. At this time, I'd like to welcome our AOF advisory board chairperson, Mr. Burns. On behalf of the Fort Lee Academy of Finance Advisory Board, I'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's celebration of our graduating seniors. The Advisory Board and all of its members are very proud of you. I'd also like to acknowledge some individuals who have been instrumental in the success of everyone here. First, Ms. Masseri, Mr. Delafav, and Mr. Garys, for their dedication and commitment to the Academy of Finance. Second, to Ms. Glynn, Mr. Finizio, and Mr. Diaz, as well as the Fort Lee Board of Education for their ongoing support of the AOF program. And third, to the parents and families of our seniors, thank you for believing in the AOF program and for attending tonight. And to our seniors, the advisory board congratulates you and wishes you great success on your journey wherever it leads you. We are impressed with all you have accomplished during these extraordinary times. You have made us all proud. Again, congratulations to the Academy of Finance seniors. Thank you and enjoy the evening. Thank you, Mr. Mertens and the AOF advisory board. This year, we were able to continue our fundraising efforts and our strategic plan from the prior year to continue to offer our AOF students a scholarship opportunity. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Danielle Arnone, our AOF scholarship committee chairperson. Congratulations to the Fort Lee High School graduating class of 2021. My name is Danielle Arnone, and I am the co-chair of the AOF Advisory Board Scholarship Committee. This year, we are awarding scholarships to three AOF seniors. Before I announce the winners, I'd like to thank Peter Mertens, Board President, Faith Frank, Scholarship Committee Co-Chair, and the AOF Scholarship Committee for their support. The 2021 AOF Scholarship totals more than $5,000 and it was made possible through the generous donations of the AOF Advisory Board, 
as well as the community fundraising efforts of the AOF students and staff. Our first place winner is Kylie Chen, who will receive $2,600. Second place goes to Stanley Shu, who will receive $1,600. Third place winner is Nathan Zhang, who will receive $1,125. On behalf of the board, I would like to extend best wishes to the seniors who have participated in the AOF program and to recognize our outstanding winners. Hello, my name is Ms. Masseri and I will be presenting the Giovanni Mercuri and Miguel Garcia Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an Academy of Finance senior who has earned excellent academic achievement as noted by his or her GPA, earned NAVTRAC certification by successfully passing national end of course assessments in various business topics. This student also completed a paid internship. She was a very eager student and was able to apply to a paid internship as a 10th grader. I've had this student in my class for the past two years and I know how dedicated she can be. I'm eager to see her continue her successful academic career in college. The Giovanni Mercuri and Miguel Garcia Memorial Scholarship for $400 is awarded to Camelia Didar. Best of luck to you, Camelia. again to the AOF Advisory Board and the Scholarship Committee. We appreciate all your efforts. Next, although all of our AOF students have had a wonderful experience that have affected them in various ways, we would like to highlight the experience of two seniors, Bella Sarnoff and Kylie Chan. Hi, my name is Bella Sarnoff and my Academy of Finance experience helped me to better understand business as well as the different potential career paths within it. Throughout my four years in this program, I was able to learn about the different aspects of a variety of fields. From the field trips and many career days that I was given the opportunity to participate in, I learned about the different possibilities that I will have in the future. AOF challenged me to have a growth mindset and create and think of creative ways to envision new opportunities as well as the tools to achieve them. I will take the skills and lessons that I was taught throughout my entire AOF experience with me next year when I attend the University of Vermont to study nutritional sciences in hopes to become a registered dietitian and use the business knowledge that the Academy of Finance has provided me throughout my high school career to one day open my own practice. Hi, my name is Kylie Chan and I was an intern at the Forley Public Library this past October to March. My time there really honed my interpersonal skills, especially in relation to teamwork, as all the staff members of the library worked really close together. I was mainly part of the children's department, so I collaborated with the adults in that group in terms of pitching my own ideas for new projects and events, as well as just helping them bring their visions to life. But what I really loved was that I wasn't confined to this single department. As I said before, everyone worked together and rotated roles often, so I was actually introduced to most, if not all, of the people working there, learning about their duties and figuring out the best ways in which I could help them out. Along the same lines, I was the only teen intern among a group of well-experienced adults there, so I was forced to become a um, fast learner and adapt to my environment quickly. I had to learn how to use a technology system as well as become familiar with where all the items in the building belonged, which was very difficult at first, especially as the building was still open to the public when I initially started. I had to learn all this in real time with people still coming in to check out books and ask questions, but the added pressure definitely helped me become a faster learner, so I can't complain about that now. I'm extremely thankful to have had this internship during the pandemic because I feel like I picked up new skills that I otherwise would not have acquired under normal circumstances, such as flexibility. I had to grow used to working erratic hours, especially with the sudden quarantines that would come up with COVID scares or with the new policy implemented that limited the amount of people that could work on site at the building. Um, I also had to become flexible in terms of my responsibilities at the library because I was assigned roles that were not initially entailed in my job description, such as the door count. I didn't think that I'd be spending my OF internship doing things like that, but it honestly ended up helping me improve my social skills because I had to greet patrons coming in and out, 
um, make small talk with those who strike up conversation and be prepared to answer any questions that people had. Um, the biggest takeaway from my internship was definitely my interactions with people, whether it be coworkers or these community members I came in. And overall, I think it my experience there really helped me improve my soft skills that are bound to help me in my future, whether that be in school, in work, or just in life. So I'm very thankful for that. Thank you, Bella and Kylie. At this time, we will be presenting a video of all our students in a Q&A session about the AOF. Throughout my years in high school, the most important and valued quality I have developed would have to be my confidence. Before high school and the AOF program, I used to be extremely shy, but as time went on, I developed mentally, physically, and socially, and put myself out there growing more and more confident and can't imagine where I'll be without this change. Already looking back on high school brings a smile to my face as I recall my past daily routines in the friendly school environment I've come to love with my caring teachers and friends I've grown close with. This is what I'll remember most. It is the fond memories made with my old friends every day that I will miss. It isn't just one event either. I can't pick one over the other. It's the collection of these memories that makes this time so special and unforgettable and why it will forever be treasured. Hi, my name is Bella Sarno, and the skills that I've developed through the AOF that will help me in college would be the networking skills that I've learned throughout my time in this program. Yeah. And I said Kylie because I know she'll be reliable, so. I would choose my friend, Samantha. I've known him since middle school. He's very smart and reliable. The meaningful assignment that I've had to do in high school is probably an analysis of the Allegory of the Cave, which is a piece of writing by Plato that makes you question whether the things you believe you know through your perception, reason, emotion, and language are actually true or not. So it sounds kind of trippy and like it would make your head hurt, which it does, but the whole point of this theory of knowledge class that I had to do this for is to investigate the scope and validity of human knowledge, or in other words, discern opinion from just by belief or truth. So this is so important because it has helped me keep an open mind about a lot of things in terms of learning and speaking to other people, knowing that some people's ideas from truths are far from what others believe to be true. Um, I think this is a great outlook on life because it helps you understand that people have different reasonings for things and just understand that the whole world doesn't revolve around the way you think and what you believe to be right. Well, I've, I never really knew like what career to go towards in the future and throughout high school like I experimented with different things and I figured out that I wanted to go to the military so that really surprised me. I surprised myself throughout high school by not only achieving my goals but going above and beyond them. I think I'll choose a few more sports to do because it would make, it would make me more well-rounded as a person and an athlete as well. I would name the fact that I got my first job at 14, um, that I got a German B1 level certificate of knowledge junior year, and that I got a full ride to NJIT. I am most grateful for coming to the US and living in Fort Lee. I think this town has given me a lot of great opportunities that I wouldn't be able to get in say Brooklyn where we were supposed to live originally so I'm very grateful for this town and just moving to America in general. If I could master any skill instantly it would probably be language learning. Language learning has so many benefits and things like international business deals or making new friends are obviously made easier by having the ability to learn language. In college, I'll be studying biology in the hopes to become a dentist in the near future. I hope people will continue to stay six feet apart when waiting online because I think personal space is very important and I think people will be less stressed and feel more comfortable in their environment and also people will continue to stay very healthy. A highlight from my senior year would be being able to 
communicate with friends and connect again and as well as being able to speak to some of my teachers and even getting to go into school for our school pictures and certain tests being that I didn't get to go into school this year. A course that I feel that has shaped me into the person and student I am today is Intro to Business and Personal Finance and Business Economics. In reality, I do feel that each of my courses that I have taken through the four years of high school have shaped me into the person I am today, but I chose these specifically because they are the courses that brought out the best in me. Each of these courses taught me so many valuable lessons and values that I know I will carry on with me forever. They've taught me how to stand tall when it comes to presenting in front of a large crowd or even when it comes to walking into an interview. Not only did they provide me with all of these tools and information that I needed to be successful, but I also gained lifelong mentors and friends which I will forever be grateful for. The course that has had the most significant impact on me as a student and as a person has got to be the AOF Advanced Finance class that I took the second half of last year. A lot of the topics we talked about were very relevant to real life, so in terms of being a student, it made me value my education even more and want to work harder knowing that the lessons I'm learning aren't only going to help me get good grades and a good GPA, but be beneficial down the line in my future. And because these lessons were so applicable to real life, it affected who I am as a person. One example I could use is the internship preparation we did. Um, the professional and interpersonal skills that we learned not only made me a stronger job applicant, but made me less shy and not be afraid to speak to other people and just become a more likable person. So thank you, Mrs. Sari, for helping me break out of my shell with this class. My AOF internship has helped prepare me for college by improving my time management skills. And one memory that I will forever remember about AOF is just a combination of all my classes that I had my freshman year with Mr. Dolofov, who's a great teacher, really funny, very great personality. And yeah, I just made a lot of great memories in that class and learned a lot of good things about business. If I could go back and change one thing, it would probably be, I'll just say, be a little more focused on my AOF classes, especially my junior year, because I was just having too much fun, just focus a little more. And another thing would probably be COVID, so I could enjoy my junior and whole senior year of high school. Yeah, that's what I would change. If I had a YouTube channel, it'd definitely be revolved around things I do in life. I feel like everyone I know, and even some teachers know that I'm very like extroverted and outgoing. So if I had to have a YouTube channel, i definitely just like record my life and just make it into like a small vlog like every week or every other week. The best thing I've ever said in class was probably when during freshman year, I pronounced debt the way it was spelled. And Delphi had to let the whole class know. And it was kind of embarrassing. The most challenging task as a senior is probably applying to college because it's overwhelming and confusing sometimes for a lot of people and it's also something that could potentially change your future. To describe my senior year in three words I would choose overwhelming, unpredictable, and weird especially this year because of the pandemic and how it turned out. I'm inspired by my parents because of how much dedication they have to my sister and I. No matter how stressful their days are, they come home and provide for us. I've seen them cook for us when they're feeling tired and lazy, and I've seen them go to work when they weren't feeling 100%. And they've shown me that dedication steps in where motivation falls short. I think high school has prepared me for college. During my high school years, I've gotten more and more comfortable in my own skin, and so during college, I know that I'll be able to take risks and take advantage of opportunities that come my way. As an AOF member, I've really honed my skills in managing time and money, especially with my internship experience. I've also learned how to write cover letters, resumes, and how to be a better interviewee, which I know will be really important in my college years. Over the last 
last year or two, I was very proud of myself for being able to present in a formal manner. AOF comes with a lot of presenting. I was always very shy to present in front of a large crowd. But by the end of the year, you will be so confident presenting because you practice so much and it perfects all your skills. Hi, I joined the AOF in middle school because one of my friends introduced me to it. To be honest, in the beginning, I didn't know what the AOF was, but after joining and being the AOF for four years, I have no regrets of joining, and I think it's a very great opportunity for anybody. My favorite class in AOF so far has been personal finance. Personal finance has been one of the most beneficial and helpful classes in high school, and has taught me so many things that I would need to know later on in life. Things like taxes and employment, are some topics that we learned in personal finance that'll definitely help me be more financially stable in the future. Senior year is a year unlike any other in our high school experience. And one thing that really sets it apart is senioritis. Almost every single senior gets senioritis, whether it's at the beginning of the year, towards the end of the year, second marking period, third marking period, or just fourth marking period. It is impossible to escape it, and I personally have dealt with senioritis myself. Senioritis is when you feel like you can slow down and ease up on your grades and ease up on the hard work due to you finally getting into the college of your choice and deciding where you want to attend college. Um, for me, it personally happened after the second semester or after the first semester after I sent in my mid-year report and it was definitely hard to overcome and there's no, there's no real pressure on you to, to perform well and you're forced to really self-motivate but I think AOF and the, the, the skills that we have developed through AOF the skills of being able to keep ourselves on track and organize um, kind of helped me overcome that problem. The first skill that I feel I've developed through AOF, which, is, which will help me tremendously in college, is communication. We have learned how to communicate with future employers, we have learned how to communicate with future coworkers, and we have learned how to both communicate face-to-face -face as well as write emails, which are going to be extremely important when I get to college and along, further along the line when I finally get a job. I also developed leadership skills through AOF. We were given many projects where we would occasionally take on leadership positions and these projects helped us develop a lot of skills and become more comfortable. Um, don't procrastinate. If you have work, just work on it bit by bit every day. We would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the Fort Lee Board of Education Central Administration, School Administrators, District Directors and Supervisors, the teachers at all of the schools, the parents, guardians, and family members, and of course, the Fort Lee High School Academy of Finance Advisory Board members for their constant support of our students.